you very much, Rich. Um, you know, St. Augustine's one of the areas expected to see the worst of the storm surge. We were just looking at the winds there. Yeah. And I have F, uh, a Florida Power and Light pulled up here. It says right now um, the numbers are going up. This is what we will continue to see. Flagler, um, Flagler County, about uh, 4,700 people currently without electricity. And St. John's, um, around 1,200. And again, that is going to continue to increase. No major outages, certainly um, from um, JEA. But let's bring St. Augustine into the loop here because they are really going to get hit hard over the next several hours. That's where Chris Prento is joining us live. Chris, good morning. Good morning, Jen. Just got off the phone with St. John's County Fire Rescue officials within the last 10 minutes. And the big thing to come from that is that they are in the process right now of moving all of their crews that are in St. Augustine Beach and on the barrier island off of the barrier island and to inland stations for their own safety during the rest of Hurricane Matthew. That means that any call for an emergency that happens within the next few minutes as, as they get off the island and the end of this storm, they will not be able to respond to. Anybody who stayed out there is on their own. Those crews are moving again to inland stations that are in much safer spots than out there on the island. They've also called in all of their off-duty firefighters and paramedics to help staff throughout the duration of Matthew. I'm told that just north of the city limits, just outside the city limits, one station now has three times the normal manpower that they would have on a regular day. But there will also come a time for those inland stations when conditions get so bad that they might not be able to respond to any calls. Once the storm passes, those crews will be ready and they are more than fully staffed and ready to respond. Still keeping an eye on the Bridge of Lions as the rain starts to fall again and the wind picks up. Right now, the bridge is still open. Those sustained winds have not reached 40 miles an hour for more than a minute, so the bridge still open, but you can see the water from the bay splashing over the bayfront. It's a little easier to see now that it's getting a little bit lighter outside. Uh, you probably can't see it behind those palm trees that are blowing in the wind, but the masts of some of the ships and some of the boats that have stayed to ride out this storm are, are blowing very heavily in the wind right now. Many of those boats that are over there have been double moored. They are secured as best they can be, but with the, the rising surge that's going to happen in here. Who knows what could happen to those boats? One of the boaters told me yesterday that he was very worried. He said he tied it up as best he could and, and to the best of his abilities, the best of his knowledge for how to tie down his boat during a storm like this. But he says with what could be coming, he's very nervous about how his boat's going to be when he gets back. He said he was not hanging around to try to see what happens here in St. Augustine over the next 24 hours. Live this morning, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.